Welcome to ETF Crypto. That's not right. BitBoy Crypto. This is your daily crypto three-minute wrap-up. What a day. Am I right? Guys, we're going to be talking about this in a few minutes, but we now officially have the first Bitcoin ETF. Will be launched next week. It looks like we've got two coming in. I believe I think they're of the same type, the Valkyrie and the ProShares. We'll talk about that in just a second. Let's check out the markets. Bitcoin coming in at $61,500. What? Are you kidding me? Who would have saw this coming? I don't know. Who? Uh, guys, this is big. Now, Bitcoin actually touched $63,100 today. All-time highs are imminent. $100,000 is imminent. Buckle up. It's going to be a fun ride. All right, guys. We got Ethereum coming in at $3,856. We got Binance Coin coming in at $474, moving closer to $500. Cardano enjoyed a little bit of a pump today, uh, $2.23, but it's been kind of stagnant the last several hours. XRP at $1.14, Solana at $1.60. Dot, we'll look at this in a second because Dot is doing really well right now. Um, here we go. We got Matic up 23.3%. It's funny. People were asking me all week, or should you sell your Matic? And I said, no. I said, when things have been stagnant for a long time, that's a good sign they're about to pump, especially when the sentiment is down. And now we got a 23% pump from Matic. The Graph, another one of those coins. Amp, another one of those coins. Dot, Polkadot, look at this. Up 10% today to 44 bucks. Still on the news of the uh, of um, the parachain auctions. We got Solana at 160 bucks. Bitcoin up 7.5%. Um, and it goes on from there, but those are all your 7% pumpers and up. I mean, you're not used to seeing Bitcoin in the top six pumpers of the day. That's pretty interesting. Now, let's get to the news, guys. We're going to fly through this news real quick. I mean, because the markets are just so crazy. That's what you want to hear about. SEC approves Bitcoin ETF. It is official. Official. Earlier this morning, it was not official when I did the show. It is official now. This is what I want to show you guys, though, okay, which is this. Um, here it is. It says the first product will track Bitcoin futures rather than the price of Bitcoin directly. This has led to a lot of confusion on the futures markets today. And in addition to this, this is why this news is big, but it's not as big as a physically backed Bitcoin ETF. This is going to send Bitcoin to a hundred thousand dollars and no higher. Um, other stories of the day, just like I was talking about, we kind of mentioned this a second ago. Traders celebrate Bitcoin's impending ETF, but the option markets are less, less certain. Uh, so we're seeing some of the traditional markets confused by this. Here's another quick story for you guys. Tether hit with a $41 million fine from the CFTC for not having enough money in their reserves. Sad, sad day for Tether. Great day for Bitcoin. I think it's going to be a fun weekend. I think next week is going to be real fun. I can't wait. That's all I got. Be blessed. Be boy out.